big story on Action News at noon is a road collapse that left some neighbors in South Jersey without electricity or water service. Authorities say this road caved in near the intersection of Swamp Road and Chatham Lane in Mullica Hill this morning. Take a look at just how big that collapse was. This happened after pipes under the road became clogged and unleashed tens of thousands of gallons of water. New Jersey correspondent Trish Hartman is live there at the command post near Swamp Road. Trish, this water could cause more problems downstream. Well, Sarah, John, we just got an update from officials within the past half hour or so, and inspections are underway right now to make sure there aren't any more issues that are happened because of this. Now, we are on Mill Road right now, which is shut down, and I want you to take a look here. You can see that all of this was underwater. You can see the mud and debris that's left behind. This was flooded out around 8 o'clock this morning when all of this happened. Farther down is Swamp Road, and that's the road that was really affected because of this. You can't see the hole from where we are standing right now. They are keeping us back, but take a look at this incredible video from Chopper 6. This view of the large hole that swallowed part of Swamp Road here in Mullica Hill. It is estimated by officials to be about 50 feet deep. Like they said, this is near Chatham Lane. Police were dispatched around 7.30 this morning. Authorities say drainage from the culvert had clogged and caused rainwater to flow under Swamp Road. This morning, police say the culvert gave way and the retained water was released into Raccoon Creek. That caused Swamp Road to collapse and brought down some power lines. Police say no injuries have been reported and no homes were damaged. Now, there are three homes on Swamp Road, and officials say they are inspecting the area to make sure that those homes are safe. The homes are without power and water right now. Another neighborhood nearby is without power as well. Officials estimate about 50,000 gallons of water traveled downstream when the culvert gave way. With the water tables being so high, with the unprecedented amount of precipitation we've had in the last couple of years, actually, and especially since December, this became an issue to the point where, at some point around 7.30 this morning, the pressure blew out that section of the embankment and the roadway on that private road. The water then traveled into the natural stream system in Raccoon Creek and flowed downstream. At this point, various structures need to be inspected, including a small bridge in this area, as well as two other culverts. Officials are asking people to avoid this area if they can for the rest of the day. So far, no timeline on a long-term fix for the crater that's now on Swamp Road, as well as the drainage issues that led to this in the first place. Reporting live in Mullica Hill, New Jersey, Trish Hartman, Channel 6, Action News. John? Yeah, it looks like it's going to take a lot of work to repair that, Trish. Thanks for that report.